Balls by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly modify a pattern. That's, uh, this pattern is actually an Illustrator pattern from Graphic Extras. It's uh, a letters design, but you can of course use any other pattern as well. How you can modify them. So you've got this design and you can just select different designs just via the swatches. You can't see the swatches palette. Just there, swatches, just set that to be on and you've got swatches there. Now to actually change this, just double click and then you can select that. So you can actually then reduce that in size. That's another sort of design. Also you can duplicate. So hold the alt down and you just drag that up and create sort of different patterns that way. Alt again, create different patterns, and so on and so on. You don't have to keep the same size, you can actually obviously reduce it. I'm just gonna at any point if you decide that you want to actually save a pattern, you don't obviously have to click done, you can actually go to save a copy. So what happens? Just quickly saves a copy and you'll see it appear over in swatches. So you can just use it at a later point. So just gonna come out of that, just remove those ones. That. Also, what you can do, you can actually modify the tile type of the pattern. So you don't have to stick with just grid. That's the was the default sort of pattern swatch style in the past. And you can just go for brick by row, which creates some interesting designs. Again, you can at that point you vary the size. I'm just going to go down back there, brick by column, and you can see the design. You can also modify the brick offset, so you can just see that subtly change. Now you can also modify the actual, it's going to go back to grid at that point. You can modify the width. So I'll take go a thousand. And that modifies the actual tile itself. So you've actually got a very, very small design inside a very huge tile. Now, maybe that's not what you particularly want. So I'm just going to put that back down to that. Also, you can modify the actual angle. So you can just rotate it around. You can transform it. So you can modify the size change individual parts of it. So you've, if you've got a sort of more complex pattern, you can change the, so you make that green or blue, as well as adding additional parts. So you can also go to ellipse tool and maybe obviously a rectangle or any other shape as well. You can change the color. Again, adding some variation there. Also what you can do, you can actually select all those, like say resize it, then you can change the opacity. You don't have to keep the opacity at uh, 100%. You can actually make them sort of more sort of painterly sort of effect by just adding multiple copies. So I can have Alt like that. Right, so a whole range of different options. Once you've actually created that, of course, save a copy, click OK, and you can come out then. Personally, after that, I prefer to go with the cancel because I've actually just saved it. So I don't want done because then it'll overwrite the existing one. So cancel and then you can just select the design over there. All right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.